hopefully you can hear me over the wind. Um, you find us back in Dalwinnie again at uh, Ben Oodleman and Ski Eric Vore. Uh, the aim today is to head up to the top. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. We're heading up to do our first summit camp of the year. Uh, the wind's to pick up a little bit later on, but that'll be perfect because the midges I know up the west coast have been absolutely rife. So yep, join us as we head up with the bigger packs on today uh, for a summit camp on Ben Oodleman and Ski Eric 4 in Dalwinnie. We'll see you more as we head up the hill. about uh, an hour and a half in now, we've done two and a half miles. The path I could see in wetter weather might be a little more tricky because it is quite, it's quite soft peaty soil. Um, but yeah, we're making slow, steady, easy progress, even with the heavy packs on our backs. And yeah, we should be getting to the top relatively soon. Uh, anyway, as Murray from Scotland's Mountains would say, let's stop talking and get on with the walking. All right, I'll speak to you more as we get further up. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind. I am about 20 yards away from hitting the top of the Skiernach Vor, which will be my 44th one row. Ryan's already the top. Big pack off and he's chilling out. So I'm going to turn you around as we make our final steps towards one row number 44, Skiernach Vor. That's us, we're just heading down off the top of Skiernach Vor and we're going to head over to Ben Oodleman try and find a wee shelter spot, it does look like a big flat top over there, you can see it from here um, We reckon it's going to take maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours to get over there uh, get the tent set up, have something for dinner and then fingers crossed that by the time it gets to I don't know, about just after 10 o'clock we should, with the clouds we have, we should have a spectacular sunset, which I hope to be able to bring you that later on. And if the wind dies down a wee bit, I hope you can hear me over the wind, um, we'll perhaps get the drone up and get some drone footage later on. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to spin you around and let you see where we're heading. So that straight ahead of us is Ben Oodleman. And that's where we're aiming to get the tent set up over there for tonight. Uh, that should be good. Right, join us as we head further over. Right.
So now it's dinner on, we're having uh, meatballs and pasta this evening um, and I've got chocolate pudding for dessert. Uh, Ryan and Steve are down there cooking their steaks right now. Um, I prefer to go for the wet pouches, I just find it a little bit more convenient but yeah, I, I get the steaks very good as well. So yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to read a bit of my book and then um, we're going to head up to the top for of Ben Ul... 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 I'm murdering it again. Yep, so we've had to make a decision. We were just looking at the weather forecast. Hope you can see me over the wind. Um, the wind was supposed to be gusting at 28 miles an hour when I looked at it about half an hour ago. It's due to get up to nearly 50 miles an hour overnight. Now we don't know if that's down at ground level or up on the summit. So we've made the right decision. And uh, I think a lot of people don't in these situations. Um, but there's also a, a yellow weather warning for thunder and lightning tonight. So we've struck camp. We've made the right decision. We've got the head torches out and we're getting down off the hill before things get silly. So I'll speak to you again when we get back to the car because this wind is horrendous. But uh, safe to say, we're making good choices. I'll speak to you back in the car. We came out in under two hours. Yeah. Well, we've bailed. <laughs> We're back in the car. It's currently 10 to 12. We've made the right decision. There's a yellow wind, weather warning for thunder and lightning, and the wind was supposed to be up at 50 miles an hour. So Steve, Ryan and I have made the right choice, and we're back in the car. And we'll see you on the next trip, which is going to be next weekend, Ryan. Yep. On Ben Nevis. We're leaving at half past 10 from Fort William. Looking to be on the summit for the sunrise. So join us for the next one. And as I always say, go create adventures. Mm -hmm.